What's up, everybody? Squirrel Man's back again. Uh, still sitting here in Jersey waiting to get a load. Um, fun. I got like four more days and I finally get to ho go home. Thank God. Uh, I'm getting burned out and I'm ready to eat real food. <laughs> uh, the reason why I wanted to make this video uh, is because um, the, the, the topic would really be uh, like the most valuable thing I ever learned in prison. Uh, and that is to get straight to the point, uh, when you first start as a brand new officer, uh, they're going to tell you officers and inmates, they're going to tell you that, uh, you, 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 you have the illusion of control in there is basically what I'm trying to say. You have the illusion of control. You don't actually have control over these inmates. They're, they're going to tell you, the inmates will tell you, they'll tell you quietly and respectfully, you know, they're not going to threaten you about it, but they're going to tell you, and they have no qualms about telling you this. They're going to say, look, you work here because we let you work here. You know, we let you come to work. We let you come in here and, and order us around. Uh, you know, we let you tell us to go here, there, and everywhere, you know, and as long as you keep being respectful about it, we're going to continue to let you do this. And the reason why I tell you this is because um, our government, our country is ran the same way. Uh, and by that, I mean, uh, what needs to be told to the leaders in this country that are so corrupted and disgusting, it's just like, it's sickening watching the people run our country right now, watching from what it used to be to what it is now. It's just, it makes you physically ill to watch it, you know? And what I would say to anybody in politics right now and... That is that there is a whole lot more of us than there are of you. So it's like watching you guys get so bold and ignorant and stupid and the things that you do and the things that you take for granted every day is just it's it's amazing to watch how stupid you really are. Because uh, like I said, there's a whole lot more of us than there are of you. And there always will be. And we can take this hill anytime we want. Anytime we want, we can do it. And there'd be nothing you could do about it. Nothing. You can, you can shoot and throw rocks and do whatever the hell you want, but eventually we would always take the hill because there's just too many of us, you know? Um, a lot of people, they make these videos and they're like, it's time to stand up. It's time to do something, you know? Yeah, you, you're probably right, man. You're probably right. I, I, I agree with you, dude. But the problem with that is... Um, it's like the, 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 the big guy who fights five guys, you know, uh, five guys go to jump him. Well, that big, strong guy beats the crap out of two of them really fast and it scares the th other three away. That's the problem. So you could take a whole bunch of people and run towards the target and say, we're going to take this thing down, Right. But the reason why everybody is not so gung ho of jumping into this idea uh, of, you know, going to take down the government or whatever you want to call it, you know, because they're afraid that this man, that man and that man and, and whoever are going to turn tail and run. Right. And then leave you with the mess. So it's like, how do you know for sure that the man standing next to you on either side of you is going to have your back the entire time? How do you know that if you fall, he's willing to pick you up? You know, that's the problem with this, with, with, um, with the climate in America today. You don't know. You just, you can't say for sure if this guy's going to have your back, you know? Uh, and that's really hard. It's like, um, and it's so much different than if like, say you were working in law enforcement or the military or something. So like you train with a group of people every day and you train to have each other's backs but when you just meet random strangers in the street and they say, hey, let's go do this or go do that, you don't know for sure. Like, it's so hard for you to say, OK, can I trust this guy? Like, I don't I don't know if I want to risk my life trusting this guy, you know, like, look what happened to those people that went into the Capitol, which I don't think it was. And I, I think that was the biggest load of BS because uh, I saw the I saw the tapes. The tapes didn't lie. Those people didn't do anything wrong. Um they got thrown in prison for a really long time. And a lot of them are probably still sitting in there, you know? And that's why people don't want to risk a big rebellion. So it's like, what's going to cause, or if it, if it was really to happen, what's going to, what's going to cause it? 
uh, what's going to be the ultimate uh, straw that breaks the camel's back, you know, uh, how long would it last, how many people are actually going to be there, where is it going to happen, you know, this big incident in Texas over this immigration thing is absolutely insane to me. Um, I think it's, I think it's very uh, honorable that the governor down there, finally him and, and a lot of other people down there have finally stood up to this problem that's been going on for a few years now. That's just ridiculous. Um, it's it, it, yeah, it's nice that they're doing something about it, but uh, I I also think it's a band aid for a bullet wound. You know, because a lot of the, the damage has already been done. Uh, people from all over the world, completely unvetted, all over the world, you know, not just Mexico or some south of the border countries, you know, they're all over the world. I have already come into this country and you have no idea who they are, where they are, what their intentions are. So the, the, the damage has already been done. You know, it's like the house has been flooded with water. Yeah, you clogged the hole finally sort of, but now you got to clean up all the water and, and like the house is basically ruined, you know? So I hope this, uh, message marinates with some of my viewers. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say to you. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's easy to talk about rebellion, but it's, it's damn near impossible to get a, a group of people together that are really going to have your back when the shit hits the fan. It's almost impossible especially in today's world, because people talk tail and run too easily. People are so much softer than they used to be. People are so reliant on technology and little things to keep them little, you know, comfortable, you know, uh, it's, it's just not as easy. It, it's a lot easier said than done is what I'm saying. Uh, and I honestly, I, 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 I always hope I'm, I hope I'm wrong, but I just don't see it happening. I mean, honestly, let me let me retract that because I don't want something like that to happen. I want everything to naturally heal. I want to get somebody in that office that actually cares about this country and wants to help everybody, you know, whether it's Trump or somebody else. You know, I want somebody that actually gives a damn about this country and wants to fix everything. I don't want to see some big uprising and people hurting each other. Like, who the hell wants that? You know, I don't. Um so anyway, I hope I really hope this uh, message gets to, to, to some good people. Uh, I appreciate a lot of you guys watching my, my videos. I really do. I see my videos uh, are, are really getting out there, and that's because of you guys. And it's been a long way. Like <laughs> I've been working on this channel for like uh, over a year now, and I remember when I only had like 10 subscribers. <laughs> so I really appreciate you guys watching my stuff. Um, anyway, like, 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 share, subscribe. Common sense ain't common.